This your style seems to be one that mixes more so of the raga soca dance or soca, whatever way you want to put it. Mm. Um, and as you talked about, you're doing tunes that's going to be beyond just carnival. Yeah. So you certainly have the intention behind it. But describe for the people your style, your style of music. How is it? You know, you come up with these concepts. And uh, you you tend to have a DJ style of, of how oh. you approach your soca music. Talk a little, little bit about that. Well, um, I would agree with you on that kind of thing, you know. Um, it's certain, so that, that, that's the next um, thing too. But my style is like life now. It's just always changing. And I, I never really um, had a, a distinct way of doing music or putting together a, a piece of music and bringing it out in a song. I could understand where you're coming from, why, why I said the, the dance all so kind of DJ vibes with the all over me, the all over me song. Uh, she do a wine simple, but she have a cute smile with a dimple, smooth skin not a pimple, rude neck, my song, but that kind of vibe. Um, but before that, I had real groovy songs, real like groovy songs like people who are looking up and calling them, you're the one and girl, you know, that's kind of groovy. So, you know, like, through years, I always find myself in a in a different groove now. So it's not really a distinct style. But recently, I must admit, recently, certain ways I um, put together my melodies, you could, well, and after a while, when you all, when I release all my songs for the season and that kind of thing, when, when you listen to them, you, you realize it too. More often, you know, than before, I have a kind of distinct way of doing my thing. But to say right now, judging from when, well, you all started following, I, I can't, I can't really say I, I had a distinct style. For you to really just say, well, Ufa House, um, Raga, Raga style, that kind of thing. And, and uh, that's just me naturally feeling out different vibes. Not to say that I lost and I know what I want. But that's just the, the, the creative side of me, and I learn that creative side work, whatever it brings to me, I just learn it out in the best way possible. Cause that all over me song, that that I wasn't I just released that I wasn't taking on that song enough. I was more focusing on Mars and the White Line, cause that was coming next. But I was telling the Bredgen request, yo, I just had to drop something to, to, to build a little buzz to build up for Mars and the White Line because right now I ain't saying nothing. Nah. And I home here, I just playing on my keyboard bam. I get advice, I call him, I say, hey, I'm coming in the studio now. And I, I teach just do all the engineering, I tell him what tunes I want, whatever, and I have my keyboard, because I, I know my music, you know, and I just build that whole rhythm and that kind of vibe. Next thing you know, now, all over me, you know, I've got a good bit of rotation from um, certain radio stations, that was good, and people had it on their phones and that kind of thing, and there was messaging saying, yo, we really like that song. I wasn't expecting that, I wasn't expecting that for the mass and the white line. But you know that is music and that is how things happen and, and you see problem on all link but for the um, collab so you know no, it's definitely yeah so you know the uh, uh, this this style thing it, it, it's just creativity whoever comes to the mind thing right 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 but but so, the most important thing is just remember any voice so they are excellent they don't know coming <laughs> yeah, let me let me let me say this though in terms of in terms of the music and production is there a particular thing you're always looking for with the people that you work with is there a particular set of like you know dedication or style or who who how do you pick the people that you work with in terms of music in terms of production is it just precision productions you're working with or are you working with a number of different uh, uh. I just know, I'm trying to remember, I can't remember the name of the first studio I ever went in as a kid, I can't remember, Mr. Larry here, what, a private school teacher, he wrote a song for me, and uh, I think that was the first time I went in, I think so, but, but coming along, coming um, growing up in this, in this music thing, I work with the likes of uh, Ken Booker, Joey Rivers, Junior Ibo, Joseph, Shasu, um, DJ Darrell, but if I do that, if I do that calypso, obviously I wouldn't go. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go by Casey. I know I would go by either Ibo because you know Junior Ibo, Ibo Joseph. He's a respected producer. You know his time. He goes right back into that time and that kind of thing. Or like Joey Rivers, these these kind of men. Um, but Casey and them, I must say, there's well, let me stop calling Casey name a lot. 
because Casey and Nick but Precision Production to all the most versatile uh, young producers you can expect anything from them from uh, uh, jumping out of soca any genre you know they're just musicians and they're talented in the same way oh right some names just popped into my head um, some young producers David Million requests um, Mr. Spine and, and some others are, are going to start working with soon but you know um, I, I, I'm not working with Casey and them alone more we develop a kind of relationship now so I will see on Twitter we tweet in right through and you will find that you see me don't really see the often that's due to the writing and so on and as okay. I see like what they believe in their eyes when I wrote that song for somebody and wh- whatever happened happened and I end up with it so all these little things so I can safely say you know it's a good vibe with that camp and we yeah I will kill with other people but you can say when, when it comes to the writing business and that kind of thing based in there uh, yeah. so I also did some writing for Rama Rama Studios that's Colonel Robots and Jorma Gittins and they, they keep calling and they say hey with that one by one by thing 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 I say yeah I'll come view that vibes all in time you know so I just do the thing what are some of the things that you enjoy when you're not doing music oh yeah I real normal I, real normal cool down to it sometimes and some people I had to do a lecture for the juniors who come on up um, contestants the finalists and know they call me to do a lecture and um, stage performance and a little bit of songwriting and presentation and that kind of thing and some of the participants were saying hey I, I, well you know in Trini slang Trini dialect I give a count to say hey I never know you so normal you know I thought you know you you use a star voice I thought you were not talk to nobody and that kind of thing <laughs> I was like, nah, you know, he had his stage in front of us and then it was, you know, natural in front of us. So, you know, I just cool, you know, doing look, doing things like going out, climbing, climbing, whatever. Caribbean Lifestyle Media, your online source for the latest music, videos, in-depth interviews and stories about your favorite Caribbean artists you'll never get anywhere else. Check us out on the web at the following websites, danceolsoca.com, idanceolreggae.com, dsoca.com. They make the music, we tell you the stories. Welcome to your destination.